comfortable? It's not comfortable. Let me get this. Do we need to have this in front of us? Like, put it back. Oh. Yeah. How you feel? I feel amazing. Okay. Are you sure? How do you feel? I feel okay. Why is this okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty. Thank you. Okay. okay. Is it rolling now? It's rolling. Okay. You, would you like uh, something to pick that up? Mm. <laughs> What's up, good people? How y'all doing? This is the Distinguished Barbarian, Michael Anthony, and I have a very, very special guest for me today. Someone that, I don't know, you guys have been, you know, asking about, wanted this person to come to the channel and, and bless it with her beauty. <laughs> oh, wow. What? Okay, keep going. I'm, I'm, but I'm just, thank you for the compliments. Keep I, going. This is my proper introduction. Okay. Uh, what was I? Oh, with her beauty and long, beautiful, natural hair. And you were just like, every time I try to say something about me and my life, uh -huh. you don't care. Because you come in here and say, where's this particular person? Uh, who is that? Shay, boy. Come on, Shay. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Shay. <laughs> Look at the camera, baby. Look at no, the, come look on. At, look at the people. This part, of the, this part of the process. It was it. Nah, I'm doing the regular <laughs> face. <laughs> Today, we're focusing on the questions of people, some of her followers and some of my followers. Okay, and we're focused right now. Okay, I'm sorry. Because that's what we're doing. <laughs> I just want to pat it. You can pat it. Okay. You feel free to pat it. Thank you. Because if I want to go through there and run mine through there, I can't oh, okay. stop me. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming there for the run through. You know what I mean? Okay, come on. Up to the air real quick. You know what I'm saying? It's all real. Touch the scalp. Oh, Lord. You know? Somebody thought it was fake, though, in the beginning. I thought it was fake. Did you take a DNA test? So we, because everybody keeps saying we look alike. We're going to take a DNA test. No, though. we're not. They'll never get my DNA. Because <laughs> she ain't like my mama. No, and then them people in men in black come to get me. Mm-mm. No. Yeah, the baby with three arms. I ain't trying to have a baby with three arms. Whatever. Arm, so. <laughs> the baby got three arms. I'm like, look, son, you're going to be really good at basketball. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a good thing. You're going to be a really good UFC fighter, son. You can hold both their arms with your head and punch their ass in the face with the third one. <laughs> Just thank your mama and your daddy. Okay. And your uncle. Well, your uncle daddy. Your uncle daddy and auntie mama. <laughs> I'm not full of question. Whatever. Question, please. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. Question one is. DNA test is not coming. I know y'all don't plan on having kids like tomorrow, but considering you want twins, Mike, do you have some potential names lined up? LOL. My husband and I have eight years. Well, we have. We had twins eight years ago. Their names are Nina, Naomi. The other is a 10-year-old named. Nyla. Nyla. And then the baby girl, who is a year old, is named Nahima, right? Nahima, yeah. Nahima. So daddy ain't... got a lot of children. Who daddy, is that? Daddy don't like to pull out. My <laughs> 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 game is weak. Anyway. I'm staying in. So let me tell you, uh, Mr. Mike probably would like to name, be like a George Foreman. Uh -huh. And it'd be like Michael 1 and Michael 2. Michael 1 and Michael 2. We have a daughter, Michelle. Because he's, Michelle in he's in love with Michelle Obama. Yes. Oh my God. And if they're twin girls, they'll be Michelle and Oprah. You might as well name the boy Harpo and the girl Oprah. No, 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 no. It's going to be <laughs> Michelle and Oprah. And then if there's a triplet, then the third one could be Beyonce. What? Next caller. Next question. Next caller? <laughs> God, damn. Favorite TV, favorite TV show, favorite movie of all time. You go first. Okay, so I love Crooklyn. That's my favorite. I love that little girl. Mm, that's my and favorite the, movie. Is it? That's weird. DNA test. Go ahead. So when the puppy popped out of the couch, because they had locked the puppy in the couch, that is my favorite scene. And then when the little girl hit Huffy and them over the head with the stick, next favorite scene. And then the other part was when they, um, when she stole the nickels from her brother. And he mm. was like, where you get that ice cream from with the funny looking nickels you got? And then they was mad. Oh, favorite TV show, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, Survivor's Remorse. 
Really? Yes. That's about LeBron. Okay. Everything like Ohio, circles around LeBron. You dig? You Ohio. like purple? Oh, LeBron, wear oh, purple. Man. Okay, anyway. Three, three, oh, what's up? <laughs> I can go high. We in this bitch. Oh, God. If I had to watch the movie every single day, it would be Life. Life is my favorite all-time movie. With okay. Martin then the other movie I would have to say the best performance ever would be, um, damn, Jamie Foxx in Ray. Okay. Killed it. No, thank you. That's ah, no. <laughs> Way over time. No. Be good to me. <laughs> Name is Shay. I got a woman. Okay, come all on. Right, all right. And Martin, everybody like Martin. Yeah, my aunt. What makes both of you angry? <laughs> you go first, little Pomeranian. What? No. When people lie on me, and mm. then when people like insult my integrity, character, and try to tell me what to do. Oh yeah, that know? definitely. Yeah, don't tell me what to do. Terrible. You can suggest. You don't even do that. Yeah. If I don't have food, I'm very. I'm not a nice person. I don't go to business meetings hungry. I don't drive a traffic <laughs> hungry. I mean, there's nothing I can do hungry. Because when I'm hungry, I'm angry. Yeah, so keep a Snickers on you while keep you're Keep a Snickers. It. You're not yourself when you're hangry. <laughs> <laughs> I hate kittens. Yeah, and me. <laughs> oh, come here, kitty. <laughs> Next. Shay, how do you deal with Mike's larger-than-life personality? Oh, God. With you seeming to be so... A little no, more reserved? A little more bit reserved. Okay, we're gonna work on your My reading? hooked on phonics. Well, you know, um, first of all, school. I stand on a ladder to level up with your ass. So, mm. talk, I mean, it doesn't bother me. I think it's funny. Yeah. Question: Besides Shay's natural beauty, what is it, or what is? I'm gonna need to start reading. Excuse me. <laughs> and I'm the and one that can't me. see. Baby, you know I can't read good. Don't, mm, don't tell nobody else don't that. Make me, they already know. <laughs> People that follow me in live know I can't read that good. Okay. So don't make me feel bad about yeah, that. Yeah, I prob Don't even play with me. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try again. Without pressure. Okay. Besides Shay's natural beauty, what was it about her that set her apart from other young ladies that perhaps you couldn't couldn't say on, tele on TV? Hmm. Ooh. Let me say this. I think that... It was you. Booty, not your beauty. <laughs> I think that it was for me. I'm a, I, I read energy. Uh -huh. I read energy, and I had an orange glow about me. No. Oh, okay. I read energy. It was red. And Shay wasn't talking this much when I met her. I loved that part. <laughs> um, <laughs> she was very quiet, but now as you see, I was catfished. Whatever. But, like when I seen her instantly, I felt like it was just familiar. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like. Oh, hi, I'm Michael. We just was talking like we know each other forever. And, of course, you know what I'm saying? She's fine or whatever. Hair real or whatever. You thought it was fake. She got oh. the lad or whatever. Is that what happened? Well, and then look, he was like, come hither. Well, and she had the baby hair. I was like, okay. Which so quickly cool. turned into an afro after being in that thousand I looked, degree heat. I licked them lips. I said, hey, hey, I said, hold on, hold on, partner, hold on. Is that what you did? Shorty. Come here. Tell me more. She was like, oh. And she just, she just kind of <laughs> hopped up like a little bunny. Is that what happened? Said, come here, baby. I grabbed her by that waist. Come here. Look at Obviously, her eyes. Mike didn't watch the. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the kiss in the mouth, how we both said for about 90% of the show. I'm hey. not kissing in the mouth. <laughs> episode nine, we kissing in the mouth. <laughs> what is your favorite episode? Ooh. I know it's your favorite episode. What's your favorite episode? Guess mine. Three. <sighs> well, we had our first date at the pool hall. Yeah, that was my favorite episode. That was your favorite episode. Because everybody was still happy with each other. Uh-huh. It was still like, eight. yours is eight. It was. Scorching the ground. I want to go. Everybody get it. <laughs> episode episode eight was my favorite episode. I think episode eight was everybody's favorite episode. It was a it was a pivotal point. Like, it was like oh shit. It was I was over it. Oh shit, this is good. Yeah. Episode eight was probably my second favorite. But episode really? One, yeah. I wish they would have showed more because everybody's like No, Ooh. they couldn't show more. Yeah. Uh, 
I don't even remember what we said that night. It wasn't you great. don't remember? I don't know if you remember. Oh, I remember. I don't think it should have been shown. I think you did a great job. Thanks for editing it the way I you did. I think they should have just went love and hip-hop on that shit. No, it wouldn't have been love and hip-hop. People want to know what happened All right, fuck it. on the show. So, episode, episode, episode eight, eight, what really happened at the cabin? She said, I'll pop smoke and you will lose out. And I was like, oh, yeah? Did I say you will lose, you lose out? That's That's what made me mad. That's I what made said you like, lose out. That's what made me twit. That's what shifted me. Because you <laughs> said <laughs> lose out. Your ass, it, the I'm whole room right. got dark, first of all. <laughs> and I didn't see nobody but Mike's ass. And then Tiffany was like, no, but what Shay is saying. And after she kind of stumbled she, I around. I said what I said. No, I said, I said what the fuck I said. And that's what the fuck I meant. And then I looked back at Mike. But... Let's talk about your friend, because everybody seems to think mm -hmm. that I attacked you when somebody mm -hmm. asked me a question. Who asked me a question? But, here's the thing. No, 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 buts. No buts. Mm -hmm. Who asked me a question? Who was it? Alex and Aaron. Right, Alex, right. Aaron said, well, I'm just saying, how would you know the ladies feel if they was in our predicament? Mm -hmm. Let's take you in, in shape, for example. Which your right. Tava. Right. So, but the thing is, though... Because everybody saw you was mad, except for you. I didn't, I wasn't mad. You was mad. I was ready to go. When I came, you was mad. When I came out that room and sat down and looked and seen you, I said, oh, but let's, shit. But let's talk about why I was really egged. It wasn't because you was in the room with Shatava. It was because... You had cars on open the door. No, it wasn't had nothing to do with the door. It had everything to do that you was playing Uncle T Nephew Tommy. Let me get that right. I wasn't playing at your time. <laughs> you were being the host the whole time. I was being respectful of two women. How respectful? Let me ask you this question. Put you in my shoes for a second. If you, on the show... We were, we're supposed to be for real about... We're being okay. for real. Okay. You're on the show with two human beings, two guys. Now, first of all, you got to think about ego. Mm -hmm. You have an ego. Everybody on the show has an ego. I have an ego. Yes, you do. Okay. Everybody on the show have an ego because, for one, you're signing up for something with Will Packer and Oprah Winfrey. There's nobody in this shit shy. So, everybody out there that thought somebody was shy on the show, they lied to you. I'm no shy. No one's shy that sounds like going to show with Will Packer and Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> That's like saying, I play a lottery, but I don't want to win millions of dollars. Bullshit. Okay. So, now, you're dealing with people with ego. So, now, me as a man... I know if I'm in a situation where I put myself in a situation I wouldn't be in, like, I'm not going to be in a situation where I'm sitting up here with some other dude, like, competing or whatever you want to call it for some one female. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing that. would have been over, like, episode three if y'all had to endure what we went through. No, I would have did it because it's the process of the show. Right? You would have been okay yes. with a woman playing, like, okay, do I pick... Because that's what you signed up for. So but I'm your this, ego, as but you said. I know, but that's but that's, let me get to that. Mm -hmm. But my because of ego, I respected the ego. I said, you know what? What would I do? I would be cool if it was a situation where when I'm with, if it's me and this guy in the same room and this girl's here, I'm not finna be he all, she all in his lap and all that. Like, that was other people was doing that. And I was like, I'm not doing that out of respect for the, because these two people have put this up in front of cameras and millions of people, out of respect for them, I'm not going to do either you or she talk like that because... So are you ready for me to allow me to retort? You can retort, but I'm just saying, I, I, I'm thinking about other people's feelings as far as like, if this was me in the situation, I'd be, I would feel tried. That's what I'd be ready to snap. Mm -hmm. If I'm sitting here and I got, this, I got this woman who I'm making a sacrifice to put myself in a situation where, because you wouldn't compete for no man. You would never, in real life, you would never be like, okay, yeah. we're going to both sit here and this guy's going to make, you would never do that in real life. But, and I know that about you. Mm -hmm. I know that about her. I know that about me. Everybody that was there, like I said, we all have ego. So I had to respect that and be like, you know what? This is this this whole cabin thing, this could be a trap. It it's, was a trap. Right. And I didn't fall into it. And you, went, you got mad that I didn't fall into the trap. Okay, you ready for me? Go ahead. Okay, so... If it was me mm -hmm. and you were at my house, because we just being real, right? At your house. Yeah. You, re you ready? Yeah. Okay. You sure you ready? Go ahead. Okay. So if you're at my house 90% of the time mm -hmm. and um, we're spending a lot of time together 
and the other person not so much. And then we get in a cabin where we're used to being touchy-feely, affectionate, mm -hmm. all over each other. Right. And then we get to the cabin and then I got I got I got to play neutral. When I'm used to every moment that we're together mm -hmm. that you're either tucked up under me or I'm tucked up under you and now we got boundaries. Right. You would have a problem. You would have a problem. I wouldn't. Michael. I wouldn't. You tried to flip over a baby grand in her no, but, that, but, that, but that, that was a stranger trying to holler at you. Mm -hmm. What I was saying is, I'm the type of person where I'm very logical. I look at the situation I'm in. Until your feelings are involved. No. I'm okay. logical at all times. So my thing is, logically, I understand that this is a situation we're in where Shay is now... She has to decide, she has to go through this process, and regardless of feelings and all that stuff, why would, I'm not expecting Shay to make him look this way or make, you know what I'm saying? I was in a situation where, for me, it just would be more uncomfortable for if I got these two women who are making a sacrifice saying, hey, I'm going to make myself, I'm, I'm going to be vulnerable to this situation that I never would be in, mm -hmm. you and her. Mm -hmm. And I had to look at it for myself, like, what would I like when I watch the shows, like the real how what is it, real world, uh, Bachelor, and mm -hmm. like that's some flavor of love type shit. Like I'm sitting here and I'm kissing you in the mouth, she's sitting right there. Uh, that's like disrespectful to me, regardless of you know how I feel about anybody. So just for me, I'm a respectful man, and I understand that you are very. We all have ego, you and I, and everybody else in the show. Mm -hmm. You a boss. Mm -hmm. She's a boss. I'm not going to put nobody in a situation on film for the whole world to see and put them in. That's backing me into a corner. That's what they That's what they planned on doing is backing me into a corner. But I didn't do it. Well, and because I, didn't, I didn't do it. I was more concerned about my feelings. And I didn't care how Shatava or any. I, I love Shatava. Don't get me wrong. But my feelings came first. And if I'm used to me and you being snuggled up against up under each other all the time mm -hmm. and now I have to play nice because of somebody else's feelings, I don't care about the other person's feelings. I care about my feelings. Right. My Literally. feelings came first. And I understand that. And I'm she... not pretending for nobody. Not TV, not Oprah, not Will Packer, not Mother Mary herself. I, my mama, I'm not pretending because I know how I felt and I just refuse to sell myself short because I'm I don't care I didn't care about the process I didn't at that point me and you had grown so close I didn't care about the process I cared about my feelings and that was it and that's mm. it so basically you just said hey listen Mike I don't care how you want to handle this I'm gonna bully you no you can no y'all see that so what she did was said okay Mike is trying to handle this a certain way to keep everything respect for everybody you and thought I bullied, bullied you bullied me don't use the B word. <laughs> <laughs> the B word, don't use it. The B word is very strong. I didn't. I controlled my situation, and my situation was like, I don't like it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, and because I don't like it, I'm going home. So, you, so you're basically being a little brat. Yeah, that's, I was, see, that's fine. <laughs> I'm not even trying to act like I'm the bigger person, or I'm like, uh, I'm just so, I wasn't trying to be posh. I wasn't trying to, I, nope. All right, my associates a brat. And, Next. Yep, in that moment, when it comes to me and my feelings, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm. Next question. Mm -hmm. Mike, how do you feel about Shay being such a brat? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Obviously, it worked. Oh, God. Okay. Man, how are you going to top the, the original crew next season? I don't know. It's not going to happen. I don't know. We're the most amazing people in the world on this cast. We'll see. You had so many different types of people. Mm -hmm. And I think it's kind of spoiled because people are going to watch this show and almost try to mimic what we did or overdo it and ruin it. I don't know if the people coming up next will even be authentic. That's why they got to go to. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? If they'll be their authentic self. Because they already know. We came knowing nothing. Everybody was green. But I think if they go to D.C., I think D.C. would be good because D.C. is a good place for our community. Okay. Um... I think DC would be really good for our community because it's a lot of intelligent, well-spoken, young black professionals in DC, male and women. I think that you know, I think it'd be a good spot where you know. Yeah, it's like the, a, it's the second chapter city, right? It is. I think it's, it's only yeah. I think it, when you it's in your town or your city, 
you seem to feel like it's ostracized. But when you get to travel as much as I do, you get to see everything and everyone. Everybody got a problem with dating. I think white mm-hmm. folks got a problem with dating, mm-hmm. Spanish people. I think everybody, but it's more pronounced when it's in your community. Right. Yeah, so. Yeah, wherever you live. If you live, because I lived in D.C. So I lived in D.C. I would hear the problems. So I know the problems in D.C. I live here. I hear the problems here. I live in Ohio. I hear the problems here. You're right. Every, you're right. Everywhere you live, there's a different problem. Yeah. So I, I vote D.C. Who you vote? I'm only for D.C. I think D.C. is it. I think D.C. Well, go to D.C. Yeah, Detroit. Um, I love you, Detroit. Kelly. I just know somebody's no, no, going to no, no, get no, no. hurt. Episode eight, someone getting shot. In <laughs> I don't even think it's episode eight. Episode I don't think three? it's maybe yeah, episode three. 